Hello everybody. Today we will be looking at the bin that we started with the coconut core here with this yellow plastic bag on top of it. And the last time that we fed it, it received a big feeding. It has been two weeks since that has happened. So I think that food will be practically all gone. And let's give them some goodies today too. So let's go ahead and pull it out and get started here. So we have the bin here set up. Let's uncover it and see what we have going on here. Whenever I put in dried leaves, I always get like these snails coming up and I have to pick them out and they drive me insane that there is so many of them. It's so crazy. And I don't want them in my garden destroying my plants when I do use the castings. They probably are no harm to the worms, but they will be when I use them in my garden. Okay, if I see any more, I'll pick them out. I think we fed here last time. See, there's snails in here too. I think it was here that we fed. Let's flip it over. This will be a little easier to see what we have going on here. Lots of worms. But no food as of yet. I think we had an avocado put in there. Oh, here's a mango seed with a fresh cocoon right there. And some worms. Oh, there's actually two cocoons right in there as well, right by my thumb. So they are definitely enjoying these mango seeds. So if you have some, put them in. It's great for them to multiply and lay their cocoons on them. They do take a little while to soften up and so that you're able to open them up, but it's worth it for the worms to lay their cocoons inside there. Let's see what we have on the other side. Here's a little bit of that avocado. Maybe we fed on this side then. There's another mango that we already ripped apart. And there's a lovely worm hanging out inside of it. We'll let you be. Oh, then this is the side where we fed. I mixed up the sides because we still have those Brussels sprouts from long ago. So the worms are are on it, but still hard. Let's see the other one. It's sprouting so much that it got stuck to the bottom here. But they're getting in it. There's worms right inside there. Let's see if I can Maybe break it a little bit. I don't want to disturb the worms or hurt the worms by breaking it. You can see the worms are hanging out right in between the leaves of that Brussels sprout. Here we go. We got that broken apart, so it probably won't sprout anymore. There's that avocado pit. So hard as a rock. Another Brussels sprout. And one more Brussels sprout. So the Brussels sprouts are still here. Avocado shell with lots of worms. Some more avocado shells right inside here. And lots of worms inside that. 
Let's see what we got going on underneath here. We have a lot of worms because I am pretty much done sifting my castings. That update's coming up fairly soon here. And you'll get to see how many castings I got and what I didn't sift out. Got a pretty good amount, so I'm excited to use that in the garden. And in my potted plants, whenever it warms up a little bit. No more food. Okay, let's put you guys back. I think we're going to feed these guys in the middle. So let me move this food over to the side. And let's see how the middle is looking. And that's where we will place the fresh food for them. So pretty much all that food is gone from last time. Not counting the Brussels sprouts. Those have been in here for probably three weeks or more. But they're going slowly here. We'll get there in time. Some more mango. We have a good amount of worms here now since I've pretty much completed my castings. Now we got this bin up and running like it should be. For today's feeding, I have a little bit of kale for them. And then some watermelon. A little bit more watermelon and then a very scary mandarin that went bad on me it was split open like this when I opened the bag so that gives me no good so we'll see how they do with this I'm just going to put in one I have a few more but I don't want to give too much at once everybody always has to steer away from citrus but I've seen people put it in and the the worms just do absolutely fine with it as long as it's not too much. So I'll see how it goes for me. This will be my first time. I've never added any citrus to my bins until now. And let's top it off with some coffee. And then, as I like to call it, the salt or the seasoning, which is grit. I'll give it a little extra due to that mandarin in there just in case and then i will spray it down a little bit let's cover it up they could have probably handled a lot more food in here but that means i will have to come sooner than two weeks and i completely forgot to put in the brussels sprouts that's fantastic let's uncover this back up And stick in the Brussels sprouts and that avocado pit. Okay, and now we can cover these guys back up. And then I'll put this here in the middle so we remember that we fed here. And put the plastic back on after I remove these nails. Let's put the plastic back on and we will check on mom in a week or so. As always, thank you so much for joining me today and see you next time. Bye bye.